Hey, it's Jeff. Welcome back. Today we're doing a 600 level on chess.com. Um, the demand for like the previous video is pretty good. We got more views than the one before it, so we're continuing on with this. I mean, we'd be continuing on with it even if it wasn't getting views. In fact, that might even be, be better because I feel like extra pressure to try to get these out like sooner. Um, just because I don't want to break the YouTube algorithm because it seems to like me right now. Um, I'm also not sure about uploading other types of videos right now just because these seem to be working. Because what happens if you upload like a dud and then you go back to the formula that was working will still prioritize you? I don't really know. I might post on the YouTube subreddit asking about it. Oops, I was, that was a mouse slip. I was going for the queen move. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much the update there. Um, these puzzles, they're, they're not too bad. 700, I feel, is getting a little bit more difficult for me. I started on that recently. And that's a good thing because, like, I'll just pick up new patterns, but also the thing is I need to get to, um... Get more practice with like the 1300 level. Like if I had a better grasp on those, I'd like get more like higher scores and stuff in my normal puzzle rushes. Cause st I'm still stuck in the like 40s, and it's kind of difficult to even get to 43, which is my best. Okay, this one they, it's like a pre-move trap, but that one that puzzle I'm so familiar with, I know exactly when they're pushing the pawn. That won't always be the case. Like, um. That's one of the benefits of like grinding a level is that you really know all of the underrated puzzles. Although I guess if I saved that one, no, it, there's just so many puzzles that are like that. It would be kind of difficult to just really memorize exactly when each one is going to try to trick you with a pawn push like that. So it's best to just react overall. Um, this one is kind of tricky because I tend to go here for that pattern, but they have this. They have enough stuff to guard against this. You actually have to do the other order and you get this knight. Um, okay. So there's this. Oh yeah, there's this and then you can take the other rook. And not as sick as I was in the last video. So that's good. I don't know. I hope I'm able to get like the 700 level done in a week. I don't know. I have no idea how many puzzles there are. Um, I'll have a better idea if I'll be able to get through it in a week later today because I plan to do like 2,700 level puzzles today. <clears throat> Let's push and then promote. Lobster pincer, I think. That's what XQC calls out one. I don't even know what the actual name would be. Okay, checkmate. Check, check, checkmate. That one, they they normally would be able to get close to the rooks, but I think the bishop actually cuts off one of their squares for that. Oh no. Oh, because the bishop is guard protecting that now. Okay, but what is this? We can check. Double check, actually. Okay, distract from the queen. I'm kind of collecting that pattern. Okay, bishop is free. Okay, take with the bishop first. And just calculate. Push the pawn, there's nothing else going on on the other side of the board that we can control. Okay, check. Queen, we talked about the queen knight um, coordination in the last one. That's kind of like a similar type thing. Not the exact pattern I was talking about, but in general, it does pretty well. Okay, let's see. Set up a fork. Um, so check. That was checkmate for the fork, though. Um, okay, I've seen this puzzle before, but I was actually forgetting the solution. <clears throat> okay, just promote. 
check. Okay, we can take the knight. Oh, what color? White. I mean, black. I don't know if that's. I just think everything is they'll tell me, but that one I don't think it is. Oh no. It's just a free rook. Okay, check, check. Hook mate, maybe. Okay, that one I remember too. Okay, this one we could take this away. Yeah. Okay, protect the bishop. I'm looking at that, I'm looking at that is probably this one. Okay, and then there's fork. This pattern is forever at every level. That one where you, um, oh no. The where you check one like this square and then set up the back rank mate. Okay, let's double check, take the queen, distract, and then we get checkmate. Okay, this I like setting up that. Hookmate, okay, that one's actually a hookmate for sure. Guaranteed, okay, free knight. Um, I don't want to go here, but I don't see. Okay, what? Oh, wait. Okay, so that's the one I should save because it took me way too long. So that's pretty much what I do in my training that you don't see is that I do a lot of puzzles like these, but then, um, there are some puzzles that take me longer than they should at a level. So it's not just about getting them right, it's about being fast at them. They're pins so they can't take. Okay, free rook. Um, free rook again. Remove defender, take the bishop. Okay, take the bishop. Distract from the rook. Just checkmate. It's that pattern again. Um, we want to set up the double check. There is one puzzle where the double check like that does not work. And I don't remember why it didn't work. So I'll probably get it wrong next time I encounter it. Okay, could it be this one? No, this is just a checkmate. Okay, what number am I on? I don't I have not looked at okay, I'm 141. Okay, discover check or something. Okay, nothing's like no knight can guard the bishop, so you could just go really fast there. But there's a whole lot of patterns. I've I've collected that one actually. Um and there are a lot of patterns where oops. There are a lot of ones where you have to be a little slower because you don't know. This one you don't want to go there because you get checkmate it. So you go the other way. But there's a lot of those with the, that other pattern where um, you have to be slower because they could defend the bishop with a knight, and then you have to make a move that removes the defender pretty much. Oops, just that. But then if they don't move the knight, you could just take the bishop. So, so that's how that works. But then like those other puzzles that we had just seen, those are nice because you can just quickly, just as fast as you can, check and take the bishop if you can see that they can't move the knight somewhere. I keep thinking the knight is guarding that, but it's not. Oh no, I removed the defender, didn't I? I don't know what I did. Okay, so I'm gonna go here. Oh, because it gets rid of that. Just uh, check. Okay, we're at nine minutes. I have no idea if that's good or not for pace. A bishop in the end. I didn't see that they were going to be taken. I'll just take the rook. And then we just be pushing a pawn, probably. You don't even have to check square to pawn for that, although you could. If you had time, you definitely. It's definitely a good habit to have. But in Puzzle Rush, when you know the puzzle is at a certain rating, you could pretty much just. Um, pretty much just pushed upon without worries for the most part. Um, black to move. Okay. Let's go in front of the pawn. Oh, maybe it's like we're just helping this pawn escape. That's why we go that to that side. 
that one was like pretty difficult. This always and actually okay, so I was watching Puzzle Battle World Championship and from last year because I didn't watch the full boss of those. And one thing that Naka was getting wrong a lot was when you had multiple places to put the king in like some defense position. Like that's where he was kind of making some mistakes because you kind of have to guess. It's, it's hard to calculate it all out when you also had like that time pressure. But the commentators did notice like a clear pattern of those types of puzzles being pretty difficult. I think a lot of people would agree that they are. Um, okay, let's see. Oh, just a fork. Okay, let's check. Okay, take. Um, how do we checkmate that? Oh wait, this isn't a rook. Okay, let's just promote. We could do this and then knight e7. Oh yeah, this is one where um, yeah, we'll, we'll have to see an example of the other one so you really see it. But that was one where you could just go really fast. Okay, trap the queen. Queen's undefended. Okay, this one is cool. Wait, jeez, I was mistaking it for something else, but I should have just calculated or something. I don't know. That's also one I would have saved if I was just trained on my own, but I don't feel like doing that on these videos. Okay, let's see. Discover check. Yeah. Okay, we can take this, I guess. Um. Okay, we have a bishop, so we can actually take the knight. Their pin, they can't take. Just probably checkmate somehow. Okay, we get a pass pawn, they can't stop it. Here we could probably trade a oh no. I guess they would have been able to I don't know, I thought we'd be able to create a pass pawn on the other side, that's why I went for the other move, but that's definitely one I should have just saved. So that was bad. Good puzzle though. Alright. Skewer. Another one of those where you just Simplify and then the pawn cannot be stopped. Okay, one of those night moves was a discover check. Okay, just a check. Probably check my hand. Discovered attack. Okay. So, yeah, so these are not too bad, like I said. Um, I'll take that. Oh no, it wasn't that. What is this? Okay, I'm super confused. Oh no, you just do that. Yeah, that's the one I would save 100%. I think I was so confident on taking the bishop. Rude defender. That was a mouse slip. Arabian mate, kind of. Again, we have this discussion every video. Also, there's another mate that I keep saying I don't know if it's Morphe's or uh, Fildor's mate. It turns out one of those is more like a smothered mate. I think like Fildor's mate, or I, I don't know. But the, the, the mate that I was getting it confused with was Morphe's mate and Pillsbury's mate. So I actually did look it up. And it's like a variation of the same mate. It just, um, the difference is whether you are, um, whether you're given a check with the bishop or the rook. That's what determines what his name is. Um, but I've been saying, um, Fildor is made, but that's way off. And the names really aren't that important anyway. I don't know what this is. But it names do help when it comes to like organizing things and explaining stuff. But usually 
For a practical chess player, you just need to be able to see the pattern. But like as a commentator, like if you're trying to do this, what I'm doing, it it really helps if you just do know the names of some maids, because then that just you can say, oh, this is the Ramuda Defender or something. I think that it, I, it is Ramuda Defender. But when you actually, and that's why, I like, I always say dovetail when there's a dovetail mate, because I, I do know that one for sure. Um, so, like, discovered attack, another discovered check attack type thing. Uh, okay. Can't do that because they have, whoa, so many things. That knight is free. I thought they were going to take with the queen and then the bishop would be unprotected. I didn't see that they would move the knight and that that would create a different unprotected piece. That was kind of crazy. Queen was trapped. Nothing guarding h7. Just got some checkmates. Can't go straight there because of the knight, so we have to move around. I have to be careful with that one. Um, there's some where you're ready to take the, take the rook, but then they move a bishop and it hangs the bishop. And it's actually more material if you take the bishop instead of taking the rook. Because if you take the rook, then they'll take with the bishop and they just win like an exchange back or something. Oh my god, they had something guarding this. Jeez. Okay, we have not resized yet and we're at 300. That's kind of crazy. Did I just already have this at like a lower thing? You don't want to go here, I don't think, because of that check. That's At least that's the logic I use. Let's see. Okay, so this was 100. I'm going to go to 80. And we're at 16 minutes, okay. And actually, oh, forget that the logo, Chess.com logo is blocking stuff, so fix that a little bit. Um, let's attack both things. They move one, we take the other. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, geez, it was just, just a basic checkmate. I was not looking at that stuff. Okay, this, because if we don't do that, they're... They're either checkmating or drawing, and we don't want either. Okay, trapped queen, I guess. I've just seen that puzzle before, so I know you're doing that. But then, even if I didn't see that puzzle before, like I saw something that's similar, then I would be able to, that would be one of the first ones that come to mind, just because I'm reminded of that one puzzle that I do know. So that's kind of how intuition helps. That's why it's useful to learn the patterns like this but this is a i'm pretty sure it's a debate in the chess world whether this is actually useful or if it's just for like mouse skills and like bullet and not really improving your normal chess um i would argue that it is useful still for your chess like even if i didn't see too many results in classical chess um i still think that because there's a lot of people that are just always getting into time trouble. And it's like, if they knew some patterns, like did more of this practice, then they would be able to not think as much for some situations. So it's like, you need like all the skills to come together, but the different ratios of skills could still vary between people. If that makes sense, it probably doesn't. Some people get it. And later on, there'll be more videos I make that are instructional, where I try to explain some of these ideas. But I don't really do too much of it now, just because, like, I'm still relatively nobody in chess. But, like, if I got pretty good, made a name for myself in the puzzles, then it might be more fun to make that kind of content because I'd reach more people. We have like better discussions on stuff, you know? Because I do believe I could help lots of people improve at chess, but that was when I started my channel, that was like the goal because I saw like not enough people doing instructional content, but now um, it's a lot of people are doing instructional content and actually pretty well and for free on YouTube. And there's a lot of stuff like you just hop into a Twitch stream and you can ask like some top grandmasters questions and stuff. So things have definitely improved 
and there's less of a need, oh no, less of a need for me to talk a lot about chest improvement, especially when I'm not even a master. So, I don't know. I don't even know if I count as an adult improver now. I turned 30 in a couple days. Um, and, but I learned when I was around 13. So, there is a benefit to learning chess younger. But a lot of people, like, you know, you look at the grandmaster list, people are grandmasters by like 12 and 13 nowadays. Um, so I always knew that learning chess at 12 or whatever put me at a disadvantage, but it still puts me at a massive advantage compared to a lot of other people, I would guess, just because I was still pretty young when I did learn. But, I don't know. Okay, so we've just been chilling for at 384. This pattern again, there's so many millions of like that um, puzzle variation. Like I can't even begin to tell you. It didn't used to be like that. There was another puzzle. If you look at my old Puzzle Rush videos when I was doing like average of threes, there was another puzzle that used to be the most common. And I don't see, I see it still, but I don't see it a lot. at 400 just promote we have a rook don't know how we're converting that position but um i guess we just know that okay i was mouse up. again see this was like that same pattern so there's no way i was mouse subbing there like the only puzzle there is <clears throat> okay let's go to this check and we are going to resize Okay, this is the last one for that. Let's not block the stuff. It does make the, the button smaller though. That sucks. But we already knew that. Okay, checkmate. That's why it's like the last 95 or so. So it's not that bad. No complaining. And we haven't had like too many legit mistakes on this one. I'm jinxing myself though, because what is this? Okay. I like the the pawn push ones. Like I feel like that like that one too. Some of them are actually underrated. Um, but they're pretty cool. Let's see. We can distract from this one and then move back. I guess moving this one just looks dangerous. Another pawn push one. Discovered attack. Check. I thought that was checkmate, to be honest with you. Um, yeah, now I'm running out of things to say. If only I knew the names of these patterns. Okay, oh no, 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 no. Jesus. Okay, remove Defender. I have a bishop, did not see that. Let's just try to promote. Okay, that one, it's like that Epaulette mate or whatever, however you pronounce it. But I usually recognize it if it's a queen, but maybe it's the same with a rook. It also reminds me of an Arabian mate a little bit. Everything reminds me of an Arabian mate, though. Okay. There's that pattern again. Should just give a name to it. It probably exists. Like I don't know how much like actual research I want to do into some of these names. So it's probably enough just to show the pattern. And if someone knows a name, I can just add it to like the the, the spreadsheet later. But um, I don't know. Like I wonder if there are people that actually go through tactics books still. I kind of want to still look at some, but at this point I do way too much tactics. Like like I'm not taking chess lessons, but even then when I was like 
my coach already had established that I do a lot of tactics and I'm better at tactics than like my level so I should actually be working on openings and stuff um but the funny thing about me and openings is I've always avoided super serious opening study just because I always read the advice online of not um spending all your time on the openings but it turns out eventually some people will get to a level oh no this is some people will get to a level where you actually need to be working on your openings more like people say tactics 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 just is 99 percent tactics and all that stuff and yeah and i do all these tactics i could still easily hang like pieces and stuff and in bullet chess you would think this helps a lot. It helps a lot in like 30 second chess and 15 second chess, but here's another one. They can't get a knight there, so you could just immediately take the bishop. But they still play pretty well positionally through like the opening and build up these attacks. And that's hard to deal with in bullet, even if you know like your tactics inside and out. Because they will just, I don't know what this is, because they will just um, set up positions and you'll see the tactics coming and you don't know how to get out of it or you can, you can get out of it but you're making your position way worse by doing it and against a strong player like a master they will definitely take advantage of that where they can set up some tactical threat like everyone knows you see it but you getting out of it means you give them pretty much a winning position anyway because they could just put on pressure so that's like, don't even know what I was talking about. We're almost done though. I think that happened last time, like I was running out of stuff to say or not making a coherent thought, but out of the blue, we were done. Okay, let's take it that way so we don't hang the rook. Um, okay, 497. Okay, we'll just take this and we can do it because that bishop's hanging or else it would just seem like we're, um, I, I don't know. Oh wait, we're done. We're at 500. Okay, we'll solve it anyway. 501. But we'll, we'll name the video 500. And it's 27. We might have actually done it faster than the last video, which would be like a first. So anyway, hope you enjoyed. See you in the next one.